<laughs> you made it. Now you have a report on volcanoes that's just as beautiful as mine. Oh, I tell you what, your teacher is just going to be just crying tears of joy because now you can make these professional academic report papers that really are going to change things in your classroom because it's going to make it easier for your teacher to grade. And you're going to feel a lot better as a student because you're creating something that looks good and it really has a nice easy flow to it so people can understand and read your thoughts and ideas. So it's great. Congratulations. But now it's your turn to do something. I mean, come on. That was pretty easy, right? I mean, I gave you everything practically. I, I held your hand. I walked you right through it. But now it's up to you. So uh, with most of my badges, you need to do two things. You always have to do the tutorial project and then you have to do a project for your classroom teacher. So in the nicest way possible, go up to your teacher and be like, please, may I have a project to do that I could do in Google Docs? And then they're going to look in their little lesson plan book and they're like, you know what? We've got this great report coming up on butterflies. Can you please do a nice two or three page report on butterflies with photos and everything else? And then you'd be like, yes, I can. Give me a few days. And then go ahead and create that for your teacher. And, and he or she's going to grade it for your classroom. But when you have those two things done, the tutorial volcano report, and then whatever this other project is for your classroom teacher, email those to whoever in your building, your school is grading the badges. They will have a sign somewhere in your classroom. I don't know, maybe above the door or something that says, you know, badges, a badge person or something like that. And email those things. And of course, because you've been trained well by me, you know how to send a document and attach it to an email, right? Because I think that's in like a lesson, like two or three up from here. Maybe it's the one right above this, how to email your document to somebody. So turn those two things in, uh, check below this video. I'm going to have all the criteria there for really double check your work and, and really take a look at that checklist before you turn things in, make sure the quality's there and then turn it in and Hey, bada boom, bada bing. If you've done it right, You've got yourself a badge. Ooh, yeah, wearing that thing around. Google student level one. It's going to be great. Yeah. Anyhow, have fun. Good luck with this. I can't wait to see the amazing things that you've done. If you've got something really cool and amazing, I'm going to have an email address below this. Go ahead and send it to that email address, and I might feature you on the website. So, hey, can't, can't wait to see the cool things you guys are going to produce. Good luck.